Dear students, this is Ravinder Reddy, PGT Zoology, Telangana Model School, with the D. Today, we are going to discussing about mechanism of respiration in human beings. So here, what are the respiratory organs in human beings? The respiratory organs in human beings are called lungs. So what is meant by respiration? Exchange of gases is called respiration. Where about the location of lungs? Lungs are located in the thoracic cavity. So here, So what is meant by thoracic cavity? So it is the space between the spinal cord, means backbone, and rib, ribs, and the dome-shaped diaphragm. So this is the rib cage. So the space in the rib cage is called thoracic cavity. In the thoracic cavity, a pair of lungs are associated. So lungs are called respiratory organs. Okay, we know about uh, what are the muscles plays an important role in the respiration. Intercostal muscles and the phrenic muscles plays an important role in the respiratory movements. And which part of the nervous system plays an important role in the Respiration, respiration, respiratory movements, that is controlling of respiration. So, especially the medulla oblongata of hindbrain and vagus nerve plays an important role in the respiration. They control the respiration, means the breathing rate should be controlled. They should not initiate the breathing or they should not suppress the breathing, just they can control the breathing rate that will be increased during the exercise, that, that will be decreased during the resting period. This is occurs by only the nervous system, medulla oblongata and the vagus nerve. So here, the respiration consists two stages. That is one, inspiration, and the second one is called expiration. Then we go to discussing about the inspiration. What is meant by inspiration? So here, intake of air. So intake of air or oxygen, that is breathing of oxygen is called inhalation. Inhalation is an active process. What is mean by active process? Here, inhalation controlled by intercostal muscles and uh, phrenic muscles. During the inhalation, the intercostal muscles contract and the ribs push to forward direction. So so ventrally thoracic cavity increases. See in the diagram. So here, when you go to the butcher shop, mutton shop, so here the ribs, in between the ribs, there is a muzzle. They can separate the muzzle and they can sell. The muzzle which attached to the ribs is called the intercostal muscles. Due to the contraction of intercostal muscles, these ribs, they push the forward direction. They push the forward direction. Then what happens? The thoracic cavity increases the value dorsoventrally. Dorsoventrally. Then, and in the second time, the phrenic muscles which are present in the diaphragm, they can contract. They can contract and the dome-shaped diaphragm will become flattened like this. Like this. It will become flattened. Due to this, what happens? The thoracic cavity value increases anterior posteriorly. So this causes low pressure on the lungs. The increasing volume of thoracic cavity causes low pressure on the lungs. Then automatically, the air from the high pressure means from the environment, it enters into the lungs through the respiratory passage. 
respiratory passage. This is called the inspiration. So during the inspiration, the air filled in the lungs. Then go for the expiration. What is meant by expiration? So this is quasi opposite to the inspiration. In this, the intercostal muscles are relaxed. Due to this, what happened? Again, the rib cage comes to its original place and then diaphragm muscles means phrenic muscles going to relax. Then the flattened diaphragm will, will attain again dome shaped. Due to this, what happened? It increases the pressure on the lungs. So then what happens? The automatically air which is present inside the lungs will send out through the respiratory passage. This is called expiration, send out of gas through the respiratory passage is called expiration. So expiration is passive passes because here muscles are going to relax. There is no consumption of energy that is. So breathing rate is slow and shallow during rest. Generally in human beings, in, in a healthy being, so the breathing rate is 15 to 18. So during the rest period, that is low, means number of breaths are low, and it's deeper and faster when you exercise hard, when you exercise hard. So after a very quick run, or maybe yoga, when you put your hand on the chest, so the chest will be enlarged constantly. Why? Because it requires more oxygen to the body. So after the vigorous activity, that's where breathing rate will be more. So this is about why the respiration, uh, so what is the uh, respira respiratory mechanism in human being? What are the muscles are plays an important role? Which part of the nervous system plays an important role in the respiration? Thank you, children.